The movie begins with two construction workers going for a break to get high. They enter an abandoned building to find an unused syringe, they are unable to find one and decide to use one they find in a sink full of unhygienic brown water. They both get high and fall asleep. The next morning, one of the workers wakes up to find his friend crouching against a wall, he calls out to him and all of a sudden, he lunges at him like a deranged psychopath. The man gets bitten and quickly runs off into the street. Next, we see a former doctor saying goodbye to his son called Miguel who will be spending a few days with his in-laws, his mother died and so he hasn't seen them for a while. After saying goodbye, Adam is just about to return back to his house when his friend Johnny, invites him for dinner. That evening, after sharing a few stories with Johnny, Adam goes to bed where he dreams of happier times with his son and deceased wife. The scene switches to the next morning where we see a construction worker getting rushed into the hospital. We see him shaking uncontrollably and he coughs on a nurse, who later gets very sick on a flight on the way home. We see the head of the World Health Organization watching clips of infected people which is highly distressing. She is then seen on an online meeting with Carlos who is Adam's former colleague from Venezuela, she updates him on the situation. All of a sudden, panic breaks out and we see people running out of the hospital, Carlos also has to evacuate the building. While this is happening, Adam comes out of the grocery store to find absolute chaos on the streets. People are running and screaming for their lives. A zombie jumps out of the hospital van and lunges at a bystander and bites him. When a man tries shooting the zombie, he is stopped by a police officer, suddenly the police officer is attacked by a zombie and finished off. Adam rushes to his car and speeds off, he tries calling his son but is unable to get through. When he gets home, he sees Johnny panicking while carrying his wife towards his car. He begs Adam to help him as his wife has been bitten. They carry her inside to have a look at her, she begins acting very erratically so Adam sedates her. Adam gets his phone from his car and is relieved when he hears that his son and in-laws are safe. He then goes inside to search online about the virus, Johnny brings his wife round and tells Adam that she isn't responding. He decides to let them in and two other neighbors who ask for help. When Adam inspects Johnny's wife again, he finds her acting deranged, her eyes are bloodshot and her teeth corroded. From nowhere, she lunges at him and attacks him, a struggle breaks out and while everyone tries to restrain her, one of the neighbors gets bitten on the hand. Adam pushes Johnny's wife who hits her head and gets knocked out. While treating the neighbor's bite wounds, Adam gets a call from Carlos, asking him to come to their location. Carlos also warns Adam that anyone that gets bitten needs to be killed to stop the spreading of the virus. Adam decides not to listen to the advice and instead drives everyone to a hospital to get help. Next, we see Miguel's grandfather checking on his neighbor to find that he killed himself in his backyard. He goes back to inform his wife and tells Miguel to not go outside and keep the lights off, he then goes to further inspect the town. Next, we see Adam arriving at a military checkpoint on the road. They shoot at the car as a warning sign but accidentally attract nearby zombies to their location. The military orders all of them to get out of the car, just then, Johnny's wife breaks free and horrifically attacks them. Adam and Johnny get in the car and drive off while everyone else gets killed off by the zombies. Johnny is distraught at leaving his wife behind but had no choice as she had turned. The next day, while on the road, Adam and Johnny stop to help a man named Luis who is being chased by zombies. He joins them on their way and after a whole day of driving, the car runs out of gas, they arm themselves with whatever they can find to continue their journey on foot. Soon they get to a town where they find an abandoned police vehicle. They approach it slowly but suddenly, Adam gets attacked by a zombie. Luis finds a gun and shoots the zombie saving Adam's life. However, the noise attracts more zombies and they make a run for it to a nearby hotel where they are let in by a stranger. He introduces them to his wife and daughter. They tell the boys that they need to search for water in the morning since there is nothing left. Adam says they won't be staying long since they have to continue the search for his son. The next morning, Adam wakes up from a nightmare and starts wandering around the hotel. He gets spotted by a zombie who chases him into a room. He tries holding off the zombie but it gets in, luckily he finds a metal rod and beats the zombie over the head. When another zombie tries getting through the door, he manages to stop him with the metal rod. Adam then breaks open the wall to the adjoining room. 
He spots more zombies in the corridor and decides to make a run for it. He reaches the rooftop where he has to fight for his life, he is consumed by all the zombies and almost gets bitten from behind, luckily the daughter arrives and saves him just in the nick of time. They manage to get down from the hotel to meet up with the father and his wife. They tell them that a kid is trapped nearby and that Johnny and Luis are also trapped. They decide to split up and the stranger goes to help the kid, Adam goes to save Johnny and Luis. His wife and daughter stay behind blocking off anyone entering through the fence. Adam reaches the shack and finds out that Luis broke his leg and tries to treat him. The father reaches the kid and tries to get him to safety. From nowhere a zombie attacks them and they rush back inside the shack and block the door but the zombie pushes his way in. The mother sees this and rushes to help them. Her daughter shouts out to her not to go but she sees her being attacked and chased by zombies. She has no choice but to block off the fence to save herself. She is very shaken and just as she is talking to Adam, a zombie comes from behind and bites her. She tries running away to a building but the zombies catch up with her and kills her. The group decides to spend the night in the shack since Luis has a broken leg and they are not able to move quickly enough to escape. The next day the group go to a nearby town and find a car on the road. Adam carefully empties the car's gas while Johnny keeps Luis quiet, they manage to fill up their car and drive off. Back at the grandparents' house, the grandfather tells his wife to not let him in and keep the door locked as he has been bitten. The wife doesn't listen and opens the door to her husband. The group soon reaches the location given by Carlos, when they get there, nobody is there. Adam decides to look around when suddenly, zombies start attacking the car. Johnny tries to fend them off while Luis tries to start the car. Luis gets bitten and dragged out, Johnny and Adam are forced to run from the car. Luckily, they are spotted by soldiers nearby. Adam and Johnny get cleaned up and tested, Carlos joins them later at the camp. He briefs Adam about the situation and introduces him to the head doctor, he tells Adam he can help find a cure for the virus. Adam tells them that he can't stay for long as he is still searching for his son. He learns that the virus is a mutated form of rabies and notices that all samples taken for testing were from adults. In the next scene, we see hundreds of zombies rush the camp. The soldiers try to fend them off but some of them get through and start infecting the soldiers. The doctors and soldiers evacuate the camp, with only a handful of them remaining, including Johnny and Adam. The next day, while going through the woods, the captain orders his soldiers to secure the area, but unfortunately one of them gets bitten, the soldier runs away from the group while still in the right mind to avoid infecting anyone. Carlos and the captain get into an argument about their next move. Carlos claims they need to go to a medical center to find a cure, while the captain wants them to go to a military camp for safety. A standoff ensues and Adam convinces the captain that they should go to the medical center. Adam pulls Johnny aside and tells him that he has to go to search for his son. Johnny wishes him luck and gives him a handgun. While on the road, Adam finds a couple who suspiciously offer him some water, which he declines. The man grabs a shotgun from his van to shoot Adam, he retaliates quickly and kills him. When his wife tries to attack him, she also ends up dead. Adam grabs the shotgun and goes to the back of the van to search it, he finds a couple tied up and trapped. He frees them and they all continue together. A little while later, they stop the car so that the woman can throw up. She states that she is pregnant and not bitten. Suddenly, zombies start attacking the van, while Adam tries to hold them back, he runs out of bullets which leaves the couple dead. Now alone he runs into the forest. Meanwhile, Johnny and his group are driving when their car suddenly breaks down. They continue on foot but are soon chased by another swarm of zombies. They are near the medical center but not all of them can make it, the captain decides to sacrifice himself with a grenade and blows himself up. The group reaches the medical center but Carlos trips on the stairs, causing the zombies to catch up and bite him. Adam arrives at his in-law's house but finds it completely ruined, with his father-in-law turned. He regretfully shoots him to go inside, only to find his mother-in-law dead as well. He frantically searches the house for his son and tries to kick down the bedroom door. Luckily for him his son is alive and he breathes a sigh of relief. Unfortunately, he discovers that he has been bitten but has not turned. They quickly get into the car and leave. While on the road, Adam is stopped by a woman asking for help. 
Suddenly, all the dead bodies rise from the ground in front of them, revealing it was a trap. The woman shoots at him while the rest of the zombies trying taking his son. Luckily Johnny arrives just in time and manages to fight the zombies off. Adam wakes up from a coma and finds the doctor in charge beside his bed. She tells him that they found a cure for the virus through his son's blood. She states that children younger than 10 years old are immune to the virus and through that knowledge, they extracted the antibodies and saved the country. Sometime later, Adam and his son arrive at an airport to board a plane. They wanted to fulfill his wife's dying wish of traveling together as a family and the movie ends there. You guys are awesome if you have made it this far in the video. If you want to see more of such movie recaps, hit the subscribe button to become part of our movie family.